year 1482, that is 11 years after the incursion of the Portuguese, they found it prudent to establish a permanent lodge for their merchandise. It is said that they repaired all the destroyed parts. They opened the dungeons to contain more captives. They made additions. And look, once a beginning was initiated, it became self-perpetuating. So they also continued the trade. And they were even here. So at the time, transatlantic slave trade came to an end. And this as well happens to be the largest dungeon in the human slave section. You see, they had their babies at the corner thrown in the dungeon. After the rain, they brought her back to join the friends. Rape was part of slavery. They had chains and also hard blocks painted on them. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. And some African Americans. Yes, they were taken by the way. Yes. sold us. Now, when the ships had come, the male captives were also made to come out from their dungeons. They were equally chained. I told you the men were chained. Sorry, the women were chained. The, their male counterparts, they were also chained here and taken from here to the room of no return. So I am sure, because the story is sometimes we are told, is that we were sold. So it's made, it's made to look at it, it's just an easy thing. You came, the chiefs said, okay, this is, we're selling you 100 people today. So it wasn't like that, I'm sure people would have been trying to avoid capture. Do you know what I mean? Who wants to, to go to the point of no return? Anu and sir. Water that does not finish. So these work out one, two. They were built for the Dutch to protect themselves. Some of their soldiers will have their people. Um, Elmina Castle yeah. is the background where a lot of slaves were taken out of Africa, taken out of Ghana. So I'm gonna go inside and get a tour.